Hey everyone, imagine this. You've just spent hours creating the most perfect template in Excel. The formulas are solid and it's now being used by the team. But then, disaster strikes. Someone makes an accidental edit and changes something that they shouldn't, and then all of a sudden your entire spreadsheet falls apart. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Well today, we're going to make sure that that never happens to you. In this video, we'll go through how to lock cells in Excel to protect your important formulas and data from accidental edits. Plus, we'll go through a few handy tricks to help customize the protections to help with the need of you and your team. And with that said, let's get into the video. So why is it important to lock cells in Excel in the first place? Locking cells helps protect the integrity of your data, especially when multiple people are going to be working in the same file. Even a minor edit can throw off an entire report, which could lead to incorrect decisions being made. Locking cells ensures everything runs smoothly with zero interruptions. So now let's take a look at how locking cells works. Here we have a quarterly sales report for our company. In this report, we have a summary table showing total profit, sales, and costs, which references this data set down here showing sales data by our salespeople. By default, all of the cells in a worksheet are locked, but this doesn't actually come into play until we use the protect sheet command. Let me show you what I mean. Let's right click this cell here and go to format cells and then head on over to the protection tab. Here we can see that the lock checkbox is checked. But here's the thing, if we exit out of this menu, we can still do things like delete what's in that cell. And that's because sheet protection hasn't been turned on yet. So nothing is truly locked until we activate it. So the way that I like to protect the worksheet is to right click the worksheet down here and then select protect sheet. This will ask us to set a password, so we will. And then we'll click OK. Another pop-up will come up to ask us to re-enter the password again, so we will. And then we'll click OK. And so now when we try to edit this cell, we get a pop-up saying that the cell that you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. And to make a change, we need to unprotect the sheet. And so in order to unprotect the sheet, we can right-click our worksheet down here, click Unprotect Sheet, enter in our password, and now we can do things like delete what's in the cell again. All right, so now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to unlocking specific cells and making them available to edit. In most cases, you'll want users to enter data into specific areas of the worksheet. In this example, we'd like our team to enter in data into this unit sold column while keeping the formulas in this total sales column, total cost column, and our summary table up here protected. So here's how to do that. First, we'll highlight the cells that we want our salespeople to edit. Since this is an Excel table, I can hover over the column header until my cursor turns into a down arrow, then left click. These are going to be the cells that our team will enter data into. With these cells highlighted, we'll right click and choose Format Cells. And we're already on the Protection tab, and then we'll uncheck this lock checkbox. And then we'll click OK. And so now when we go ahead and protect the sheet, so let's enter in our password here, Click OK, enter in our password again. We're able to make changes to the cells that we unlocked, but with cells that are locked, we get the pop-up to appear. So something to make note of here is that with the current permissions, the only things that we are allowing our salespeople to do is enter in data. For example, for a cell that's editable, our salespeople can't change the format of the cells and they can't filter the table either. So let's take a look at customizing these permissions to allow them to do that. So let's quickly unprotect the sheet, enter in our password, and then right click our worksheet again and click protect sheet and pause here for a moment. From this list of options, we're going to select format cells so they can change the look of the cell such as color coding things. And then we'll also select use auto filter so that they can filter the data. From here, we'll click OK. Now that everything's locked, let's test it out. Let's first try editing one of the lock cells. So something like over here, we get a pop-up, which is good. And then from here, let's filter the salesperson's column for someone like Amanda Davis so that we're only focused on them and not tempted to edit other people's data. So here, now we're able to enter in our new unit sold. And then we'll also format these cells and color code them so that we can let people know that we've completed the update. So here's a bonus tip for everyone. Let's say that we weren't the developers of this template and that we inherited this file from someone. 
Let's say in this example that we want to highlight only the unlocked cells. For this, we can use conditional formatting to highlight them. To do this, we're first going to select all the cells in our worksheet, go up to conditional formatting, and click on new rule. We'll select this last option here, and we're going to paste in this formula. And what this formula will do is it will check every single cell to see which cells do not have the protection property applied to them. And if this formula returns true, we'll format it so the cell background is something like yellow, then we'll click OK and click OK again. And now we get the unit cell column highlighted yellow to us, and that's to be expected because we chose to unlock those cells. And that's how you lock cells in Microsoft Excel to protect your formulas and data from accidental edits. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.